It's Wednesday, so that means it's Snapshot Day. Today, Snapshot 21W11A is out, and it's all about copper and lightning rods. So there are quite a few changes, not really any additions, but a lot of changes. So first, there are new ways to wax copper. So let's put a couple of these down here. All you need to do is now right-click with a honeycomb, and it becomes, well, this one's fully oxidized, so it doesn't work. But with any that are partially oxidized, let's see, that's wax. There we go. Let's get that. And you can see the effect there. It is now waxed. You can also use a dispenser. Uh, we've got some honeycomb in here. Press the button, and it's waxed. To remove the wax or scrape it off, you can use an axe. There we go. Interesting, you can also scrape off the oxidation with an axe. Another change is that a lightning strike to a lightning rod can remove the oxidation from the copper, but uh, I'm doing an experiment here. This side is waxed, this side is not. So let's change the weather to thunder, and let's see what happens. And it's burning. There we go. Uh, nothing happened there because I think it's because it's on the waxed. Let's try it if it's on the regular copper here. There we go. So interesting. If you put it on the waxed, it doesn't do anything. But if it's on the regular copper, you can see the oxidation is removed from some of them. Another change with lightning rods is they're water loggable now. You can place them underwater, and as you can see, it's uh, surrounded by water. Our last change with copper is you can use a crafting table and convert waxed copper blocks into copper ingots. Now let's look at a few of the other changes. One of them has to do with moss blocks. You can put in cobblestone and moss block and get mossy cobblestone. Also, stone bricks and moss block gives you mossy stone bricks. Now let's take a look at some drip leaf changes. The small drip leaf, when placed, now faces different directions depending on your orientation. So as you can see, they are in different orientations. And now when you break a big drip leaf stem, you get big drip leaf blocks. We got four of them from there. Before we head underground, there is a change to amethyst. So fully grown amethyst clusters now drop four amethyst shards if broken with a pickaxe. So let's see. We got four right there. But if you break it with anything else, like your hand, you only get two. Of course, if you have fortune on your pickaxe, it'll drop even more. And now underground, we're going to take a look at the root blocks here. When you bone meal them, you'll get the roots. You'll get the hanging roots. They're also offset from center now, instead of being right at center. So it'll be a more random thing. It looks a little bit more natural. And now a bit about the caves. Uh, the cave sizes have been tweaked a bit. And diamond ore now is a bit more common, so you can find it a bit more often than the last snapshot. There's also a technical change that, for most people, won't affect them. There's an added F3L shortcut to generate and persist performance metrics from in-game. And it's raining. This snapshot also features tons of bug fixes, so if you want to see the full list, then check the link in the description box below. And that is Snapshot 21 W11A. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of this snapshot. I mean, it's not a huge change, but there are some things related to copper which can be pretty useful. If you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing more snapshot videos from me, then please consider subscribing. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.